Question number 96. Select the mismatched pair. Mineral elements are given here and on the right side you will get the activated enzymes. Magnesium activates the enzyme Rubisco or you can say magnesium is the activator of Rubisco enzyme. It is correct. Calcium for alpha amylase. Iron for catalase, nickel for carboxylase. No, for carboxylase, it is the zinc. And nickel activates urease and hydroxylases. So, this is incorrect match. So, the correct option for the given question is option number 4. Let's move to the next question. Question number 97. Potassium and chlorine are functionally similar. In first option, maintaining an ion cation balance in cells, it is true. Binding of ribosomal subunits during protein synthesis, it is the optimum concentration of magnesium which binds the ribosomal subunits during the protein synthesis. So, this is incorrect. Third statement being essential for both photosynthesis and respiration, it is copper which is essential for both photosynthesis as well as respiration. Fourth one, formation of mitotic spindles and organization of chromosomes. It is calcium which is essential for the formation of mitotic spindles. So the correct option for the given question is option number one. Let's move to the next question. Question number 98. In plants, the best defined function of magnesium is... Magnese is Mn, so it is symbolized by Mn. It is being the constituent of ring structure of chlorophyll. No, it is the magnesium, not the magnese. So this option is ruled out. Being a component of energy currency, it is the phosphorus, which is a component of energy compounds. So this is also incorrect. Third one, its involvement in photolysis of water. Magnese, no doubt, is involved in photolysis of water. So, this is correct. Fourth one, for the synthesis and accumulation of anthocyanin, no. So, the correct option for the given question is option number three. Let's move to the next question. Question number 99, for which of the following elements, hunger signs tend to appear first in the younger tissues? Here comes the concept of mobility of elements. An element can be immobile. If element is mobile, it will move from older tissues to young tissues during the deficiency of this particular element. If it is immobile then it will stay in older tissues only it will not move to young tissues so there will be no movement so during the deficiency of any immobile element the element will not move and the sign, the deficiency symptoms will first appear in the younger tissues as the immobile element is still in the older tissues. Here, the question is asking about the hunger signs tend to appear first in the younger tissues. It should be an immobile element. So, you have to find out the immobile element. Magnesium, it's a mobile element. Phosphorus, nitrogen, both are mobile. Calcium is immobile element. It stays in the older tissue even during the deficiency of calcium. So, its deficiency symptoms first appear in the younger tissues. So, the correct option for the given question is option number 3. Let's move to the next question. Question number 100. In the metabolic phase of absorption of minerals, this is the second phase of absorption of minerals. When the minerals have already crossed the cell wall, they are in the symplast, not in the apoplast. They have crossed the apoplast. So first, rapid uptake of ions occur into intercellular spaces. No, it is into intracellular spaces now. There is no expenditure of energy. There is expenditure of energy. That's why metabolic phase of absorption of minerals is an active process. So this is wrong. 
movement of ions occur along the concentration gradient if it would have been along the concentration gradient then it would have been the passive process not the active process so this is incorrect movement of ions and is an active process this is correct so the correct option for the given question is option number four let's move to the next question 